My name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, we're going to train your spider sense. You know that you know, Peter Parker, and he's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and the background changes? Except we're doing that for your soldering, and we're going to do it so that you know when to take your hot air off the board so you don't, you know, destroy everything. You know what I'm saying? But let's just, let's just do this. Okay, so scenario with me as we tend to do around here. You could be working on a PlayStation 5 motherboard, a new Xbox, somebody's laptop. You could be working on a graphics card, a phone. You could be working on somebody's tablet, or in fact, you could just be working on a Nintendo Switch, a simple, humble Nintendo Switch. But with all of these different repairs in mind, we all have the exact same question. Justin, when do I hit the eject button? When do I pull the hot air away? When is too much, too much? And is there an easy, easy, easy way that I can understand this within the confines of this video and not have to do any real research or work because I just don't want to? Well, guess what? I already know you're watching The Art of Repair and the answer's yes. Your boy's got you, you know what I'm saying? So let's just go ahead. Let's just take this board real quick and let's explain the crazy stuff and hopefully you will understand before the end of this video how to easily identify the visual signs of knowing when they get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> um, so anyway, I have prepped this board with two different solder alloys on it, okay? And if you have been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm about to say that I put 6337 on this board. Now, where did I put that? If you look right here, we've got four different joints. Both pairs share a single trace pathway via whatever you want to call it. It shares it on both sides equally, right? The reason being is we're about to run a little experiment and we need to have some control in our life. What does that mean? That means that you saw, and like I said, I re-alloyed this to 6337 and I seems like this one's different. The color is different. One is darker, one is lighter. That's because one is just what comes with the board. It's lead-free ROHS. It melts around 217-ish. I say ish because it's got a plastic range, meaning it, it's kind of like lava, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of it's liquid. It's kind of solid at the same time. It doesn't quite all the way do it at the same time. Whereas the 6337 down here, and that 6337 being... It, anyway, that 6337 uh, has a melting point of 183 degrees centigrade, and that's a point. It's not a range. So as soon as it hits that temperature, it's going to do that. It's a great, it's a great starting mark. You know, like you're on the you're on the starting thing, and you know, boom, the gun goes off, and you got to run. That that's a good one for us, right? So what's going to happen here? Our little theory is that if we apply some flux on here, because it's a it's a barrier, it's going to protect. The solder right but it's also going to keep it nice and clean because it's a detergent right and at that point once it reaches that wet or liquid state i think you already know it's gonna shoot turn into a little ball and at that point we know it is fully liquid and melted and what that does is it gives us something very interesting if we pay attention think about it for a minute what are we going to learn once we do this little experiment we're going to get a range, a safe range, if you will, a safe play range, okay? And we're going to get some solid visual cues, okay? Those visual cues come from the, the wetting of the solder and then the continued wetting of the next level of solder and then the time in between. If you're not following me, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and heat this thing up, put a little bit of flux on it, and I want you to start counting when... The, 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 the lead, I'm, I'm sorry, I want you to start counting when the 6337 right here liquefies, okay? Crazy stuff. All right, we're going to do 400 over full airflow. Just because this board's a little bit thicker, I don't want this to drag on too long. Um, watch this guy. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty there we go. Thirty-four seconds. Y'all counted that with me, right? Thirty-four whole seconds. That's your play range, okay? That's how you know you're going to be safe, okay? Now, the way to apply this to your everyday board work is to make sure that you use 6337 solder on any of of any, basically everything, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's application specific and you've got to use one of those low melts. And y'all know I'm not really into that train or anything. You know, we'll talk about it a little more, but I'm not really into that, you know what I mean? But for the most part, if you're using that 183 as your, your start point, right, and you get averages from the different boards, not every board's the same, right? So a 10 layer board with very low thermal mass, this is going to happen much faster. That 34 seconds might be 5 seconds, right? If you're working on an audio IC, that, that, that transition happens in 3 or 4 seconds. You see what I'm saying? Every board's a little bit different. What I like to say that my rule of thumb is here at the Art of Repair is we take that temperature, we take that time, we take all that stuff, and we, we, we focus on that time. And we just say, okay, if it was 30 seconds, I will not heat and play around in here for any more than maybe like half that time. Then I'll pull back and I'll come in and start working again. Because think about it, that gives you 15 seconds of micro manipulation time on the board, giving you 15 seconds for everything around, okay, to stay nice and solid and you don't have to worry about damaging anything on the board. That's all I'm trying to say. Take it for what it is. Watch this video over and over. I promise you, if you learn these these visual changes and you do the timing in your head, your your ability to know when to, to pull away is it you're gonna be fine, man. You're gonna be fine. So anyway, I hope you learned something today. Make sure that if you did like the video or you learned something, you know what I'm saying, hit the old like button down there. Um, I really do try to you know, work really hard on these videos and it makes me very happy when I see all the likes on there and everything like that. Uh, not only that, but, and this one's a new one for me. Can you, can you share the video, please? Just share the video on your, on your social media, anywhere you can. It really helps me out because it's, it's crazy when I see all the places this stuff comes in from and when my friends tag me in that stuff. Uh, and make sure that you also do the little subscription thing and turn on notifications. That way you can tell every week when I put out one of these videos. Usually it's every Monday, but I'm probably going to start doing some more fun stuff. Um, but anyway, I will catch y'all next time. All right, looks like we made it to the end of another video. And I tell you what, if you are one of those people that just needs to get themselves a little more art repair fixing, you know what I'm saying, head on down here. Take this link, right, Art of dot repair. It's one of those new cool, you know, domain extensions, right? You can take that and you just throw it up here. Tip tap, type it in, copy, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure there is a link in the description that you can hit a button on. And I maybe I can put something over here. I don't know. But once you go there, there's going to be all kinds of stuff. Especially, especially, oh man, if you're one of those people that is absolutely ready to take that plunge and start digging down to the center of repair itself, we got all the tools and everything too. I, I, I tell you what, I don't need to tell y'all. Y'all know there's more fun stuff here. You guys know what to do with it. I'll catch y'all next time. There is some, oh my goodness, my whole, there are just so many audio interruptions. I, I got, I got to go. Oh my goodness.